welcome to another session of Mami Teo Teaches Math. Our most essential learning competency for today is identify sampling distribution of the statistics. So a sampling distribution is a probability distribution of all the possible values of a statistic for a given sample size selected from a population. So remember that we will be talking about sampling distribution here and of course about the statistic only so meaning we will be focusing on the samples the probability distribution of the sample means is also called the sampling distribution of the sample means so we also call it as sampling distribution of the sample means with the sample mean as the random variable so you know already what a random variable is so that is x how to construct a sampling distribution of sample means from a given population? Step 1. Determine the number of samples of size n from the population of size n. So we will be identifying the number of our population and of course the number of our samples. That's step 1. Step 2. List all the possible samples and compute the mean of each sample. So we know already how to get the mean. And just add and then divide it by the number of, of course, addends. Step 3. Construct a frequency distribution of the sample means obtained in step 2. And 4. Construct the probability distribution for the sample means x bar. The number of samples of size n from the population of size n is given by the formula. So you are familiar with this formula in combination? This one is n taken n so that is big n taken n so this is equal to n factorial over n big n minus small n factorial times small n factorial example number one consider a group of n equals four people with the following ages 18 20 20 20 24 consider sample size of size n equals two from the group so our n here is four and our small n sample is 2. If the age of one person in the group and of course x bar or the sample mean is the average age of the two people in a sample, construct the sampling distribution. So first step is of course to determine the n and the small n. So we already determined it. Second is to of course use the formula this one, this is equal to n factorial over n minus n factorial times n factorial. So this one is equal to 4. This is 4 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. And we say 4 factorial, that means you multiply 4 by 3 by 2 by 1. So this one is 2 factorial, so that is 2 times 1. This one is 2 factorial, 2 times 1. So we can cancel this, cancel this. So we have 12 over 2. And our sample will be 6. So this one is the possible outcomes. List of possible okay, outcomes. So let us list down now the six combinations. We have 1820, 1822, 1824, 2022, 2024, and 2224. So to get the sample mean, we just add the 2 and divide it by 2. 18 plus 20 divided by 2 is 19. 18 plus 22 divided by 2 is 20. 18 plus 24 divided by 2 is 21. 20 plus 22 divided by 2 is 21. 20 plus 24 divided by 2 is 22. And 22 plus 24 divided by 2 is 23. Okay, so this are the sample means 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. Frequency, so 1, 1, 1, 2. And then 1, and then 1. To get the probability, of course, of the sample mean, we use this symbol. P of x bar. So this one is 1 over how many? 6. Yes, 6. This one over 6. 
This is 2 over 6, 1 over 6, and this one is 1 over 6. Be sure that this one is, of course, equal to 1. Okay, so this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Example number 2. A population consists of 5 values, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. A sample size of n is to be taken from this population. So our big N is 5 and our small N is 2. How many samples are possible? Let us compute it first. So that is 5 taken 2. So this is 5 factorial over 5 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. This one is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. This is 3 factorial, so 3 times 2 times 1. This is 2 factorial, 2 times 1. Cancel, 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 cancel. This one is 2. So we have 10. Let us now construct, of course, the sampling distribution. We have here the 10 combinations 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, 4, 5, 4, 6, and 5, 6. Let's get now the sample mean. We have 2.5. This one is 3. This one is 3.5. This one is 4. 3 plus 4 divided by 2 is 3.5. This one is 4. This is 4.5. This is 4.5. This one is 5, and this one is 5.5. So, we have the sample means 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, and 5.5. Okay. So, let's get the frequency now. The frequency, we have 1, 1, and then 1, 2, 1, and then, no, this is 1, 2. This one is 1, 2. This is 1 and this is 1. Okay. So, the probability now of your sample mean will be 1 over how many? This one is equal to 10. This is 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So, 1 over 10. 1 over 10. 2 over 10. 2 over 10. 2 over 10. 1 over 10 and 1 over 10. Okay, this is the sampling distribution of the sample means. For letter C, construct the histogram of the sampling distribution of the sample means. You have to make a diagram like this, a histogram like this. This one represents your sample means and this one is the probability of your sample means. I divided this into 10. This is 1 over 10. This is 2 over 10, 3 over 10, up to 10 over 10. And this one, we have 2.53, 2.53, 3.54, 4.55, 5, and 5.5. For 2.5, we have 1 over 10. So, meaning here. For 3, we have 1.52, or 1 over 10, 2. That is 1 over 10. So, for 3.5, we have 2 over 10. Okay. For 4, we have 2 over 10. For 4.5, we have 2 over 10. For 5, we have 1 over 10. And for 5.5, we have 1 over 10. So this one is the histogram of this sampling distribution of the sampling.